My name is Hannah Kent, and uh, for the past 10 years I've worked in the visual effects industry as a cloth and hair simulation artist. I've been drawing since I could hold a pencil. I got to take a cartooning class in second grade and was like, oh my gosh, I want to work in animation. I went to the Ringling College of Art and Design for computer animation. I envisioned myself being an animator, but when I got into school, doing all, like, you have to rig your character and then move each joint, and I, I just really struggled with getting the technical stuff to fall into what I visualized it being. And there were so many other people in my class that just, it just came so easily to them. So I, I definitely was questioning if I had chosen the right industry, but I was determined. And they finally, for one of our projects, we were doing, we did caricatures of ourselves. And they kind of opened up the opportunity to play with um, hair and cloth, and they kind of gave us little demos in class. And I just was, I was like, that looks like fun. I'm gonna put hair on, my, on myself. And I went back to my, my dorm, and I stayed up all night because I was having so much fun placing the hairs and styling it and then making it move and like bounce around. And it was just such a cool, cool moment that like that, it, that came to me. That was the part that made sense. And that's when I started to realize I could specialize. I could do hair and cloth. The more that I did, the more I fell in love with what I was doing. Because costuming and things have been a hobby of mine, it was kind of a way for me to be a digital seamstress and a digital costumer for these movies that I was working on. My first job out of school was getting hired to work on Alvin and the Chipmunks. So it was the perfect blend of like fur and the little hoodies and all that fun stuff. I worked on Alvin and the Chipmunks. I also worked on the Squeakquel. Aliens in the Attic, The Mummy 3, one of the Fast and the Furious movies, The Incredible Hulk. Had an opportunity to move over to Sony. So I worked on Alice in Wonderland, Arthur Christmas, The Amazing Spider-Man, Oz the Great and Powerful, Hotel Transylvania, and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. While I was at Sony, it was actually when I got married. We both work in the same industry, but that means that sometimes one of us is working and the other one isn't. We both were laid off. So we moved up to the Bay Area. I applied and ended up getting hired by DreamWorks PDI. Coming up to the Bay Area and working for, for DreamWorks, working with their tech initiatives department, was such an eye-opening experience because Unlike working in film, I was working with these, these clients. It really put me in touch with another industry that I would not have normally had access to. I was able to talk directly with Burberry. I got to peek behind the curtain of what, what do these big fashion houses do? What, what do they focus on when it comes to their branding, their tech packs? How do they want themselves to be perceived? It was so fascinating. It really fueled my desire to want to start my own company. I've been riding motorcycles for the past seven years. Something that I realized even back when I first got into motorcycles was that there just was not a lot of gear options for women and kind of threw around the idea of, oh, it'd be cool to start a, start a line, and just never, never really pursued it. I never quite had confidence in myself as a designer. I could draw, but was it good? Was, like, was the fashion side of it there? I have been cosplaying or making costumes and dressing up and going to conventions for 15, 16 years now. Ashley Eckstein, who is the voice of Ahsoka on the Star Wars Clone Wars series, started her own company creating um, awesome nerd fashion for women. As her business took off, 
she she has been able to collaborate with other companies like Kohl's and Hot Topic and in the past three years started up a geek couture fashion show at San Diego Comic-Con. Each year they pick two winners who get to collaborate and design with Her Universe and Hot Topic on a line of clothing that will then be released and sold at Hot Topics across the nation. They'll do a judge's pick and then an audience pick. This third year, they also did an at-home pick so that people could vote on the internet. So there were three winners. Uh, and this year I actually won for a design that was inspired by Furiosa from Mad Max. And I was picked by the judges, which for me was a really, uh, really great moment. Getting to design with Ashley, with her universe and Hot Topic was so much fun. This has really not just given me confidence in myself as a designer, but confidence that I'm on the right path. I think anyone who starts their own business has moments of doubt, and this is just what I keep coming back to, to remind myself that I'm on the right track and I can do this. If, if Hot Topic and Her Universe can believe in me, I should believe in myself. We rely so much on letting the world define us instead of defining ourselves. So, you know, I may only be five foot one, but I love motorcycles and I ride them and I enjoy it. But I also love ice skating and I love fashion and I like sketching and I don't need to be defined by any one of these things. And I, I think that that's the other side of it is when I look at women's gear, half the time it's pretty much men's gear with some pink slapped on it or a flower or a butterfly and I want I know that we as women are more diverse than that life is too short for regret so I'm starting this business and it might fail but I'm not gonna look back and regret not trying I would rather live a life of failures from trying than from just wondering what could have been if I had just given it the effort. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm gonna design gear for women. It's gonna look good, it's gonna protect, and it's gonna be awesome. It's worth the perseverance. <laughs>